Hello viewers and welcome to Emeka Williams Spiritual Tips. I am your brother, Pastor Emeka Williams. And today, I am coming out with another spiritual boy. Another spiritual bomb that when it explodes, hell, the camp of the enemies will be in chaos. Also, Ghanai, everywhere. Kata kiti, kata kiti, kata. And I am coming up with a spiritual tips that will help you. If nothing is working for you, this particular spiritual tips is for you. This particular assignment is a very power-packed assignment that you can do to help yourself. In this particular video, I am going to be teaching us on how you will use sand from three different markets, ashes, and seven seeds of alligator pepper for a three-day prayer program that will make things begin to work for you. That will make blessings Good things begin to trade in your life as things are traded in the market. Sand from three different market places. Ashes. Seven seeds of alligator pepper. And we are good to go. And I can assure you, if you can try out this particular recipe, you will come back smiling and rejoicing with abundance. Yes, you might have taken series of different kinds of uh, spiritual cleansing, spiritual baths, and all that. And they seem not to be working for you. You don't need to worry yourself anymore. This particular one is unfailingly going to work for you. You have been busy. You study so hard. And when you get to exam hall, you find out that you can't even remember anything. And you have studied so hard. Not as if you are a dullard. But because there are some forces that are contending with you. Making sure you don't succeed making sure nothing works for you. You have invested in that business. At the end of the day, you cannot account for your capital. You have gone to borrow loan. Loans upon loans, and you are now indebted to several loaning uh, uh, associations. You are owing banks. And at the end of the day, there is no fruit of your labor. Mm -hmm. You get employed today, tomorrow you are discharged. You go to places, you seem not to find favor before people. I can tell you most assuredly that it is not ordinary. When things begin to happen in your life repeatedly in a negative form, you should be able to pause and ask yourself questions. Why are things working this way for me? Why am I not getting the expected results? And if you analyze every situation surrounding you, you find out that you are trying as a human, but just that things are not working, then you have to go spiritual. For instance, somebody is sick, seriously ill, and you've gone to the hospital. They've done all manner of tests, different kinds of medical tests, and each doctor, each lab scientist will come out and tell you I can't find anything wrong with this person. Yet, you know you are sick. 
yet you know you are dying. Dying in a simple way is supposed to tell that this thing is not just ordinary. This thing is not just medical issue. This has become a spiritual issue. And for you to be well, you have to go spiritual. You have to go praying. You have to go do it. Every spiritual thing you need to do in line with God, in line with the ordinances of the word of God to get yourself held back, you have to do that. That is why the Bible in the book of James chapter 5 said, Is anyone among you sick? Oh, phone number dear. It should be brought to the elders of the church. Eh? Is anyone among you sick? It should be brought to the elders of the church. He said they should pray for that person, anointing the person with oil, and the prayer of faith will heal the sick. So there are things you settle uh, uh, medically. There are things you settle spiritually. And that is why I came up with this particular spiritual remedy, spiritual tips, so that by it, you can cleanse yourself. You can clear road and you begin to attract good things. With this particular assignment, you will destroy every resistance that are making things not to work for you. You will neutralize and nullify them. This life, this earth is a marketplace. Every human being on earth came to the world earthly market. And everything that you're doing, you are trading. At the end of the day, you will go back to God and go and give account of how well you did on earth. So, sand from the market is a very powerful thing. The dust of the earth from the market. Now, God bless you. If this is your first time of coming in contact with this face, I am Pastor Emeka Williams, like I did introduce myself in the beginning. Welcome with a tumble. This channel is all about spirituality. Mm -hmm. On this channel, we share knowledge on how we can use natural materials, natural instruments, natural resources. Connecting to their spiritual powers, properties, energies, and vibration to solve our problems. Our spiritually related matters. Of course, yes. In other words, we harness the spiritual benefits of what nature has blessed us with to make our lives good and live the good life that God Almighty has ordained for us to live. You have to become a bona fide member of this family. And how do you do that? You have to subscribe to this channel. Please subscribe to my channel. And how can you subscribe to this channel? Look at the right hand side of this video down below. You are going to see a red subscribe button. Click on it. Yes, and put on the notification bell to all so that whenever I upload a new video, you will be notified with immediate effect. Why do you need the notifications? So that you will not miss any of the information flowing from this stream of divine wisdom and knowledge. God bless you as you do that. And to my Returning subscribers, returning viewers, old and new subscribers, bam. Double thumbs up. God bless you guys for me. Those of you that have been sending your donation to the ministry, as you are encouraging the ministry, may the good Lord encourage you also. May God donate that thing that is your heart desire to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every support you've done, You've given to this channel by sharing videos, giving me the likes, you know, introducing people to this channel. I am glad when I see people 
chat me up or call me. Oh, my mother introduced me to your channel. My sister introduced this channel. My friend, this and that. I It gives me joy. I'm happy and I say again, thank you. To those people who have secretly been encouraging me, advising me and giving me counsels, I also appreciate you. God bless you one more time. And to the almighty God, who is the creator of all that is created, glory, honor, and adoration be unto your holy name. Father, we say for every miracles, every testimonies, every deliverances that has gone on through this channel, through the tips, spiritual tips that come out of this channel, it's all by you. Oh God, I am lifting my two hands up and I am returning all glory back to you. For you cannot share your glory with anyone. Thank you, Father. And I ask, oh God, that as many that are watching this particular video, let there be a turnaround to the positive in their lives. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Father. For I pray in Jesus' name. Do I? Now, back to our topic. If nothing is working for you, do this. Go and look for market places. Daily markets. Any market that is operated or observed on a daily basis. Look for three different markets. Go to market A. Pack some sand from that market A. Go to market B. Pack some sand from that market B. Go to market C. Pack some sand from that market C. Join the sand from the three market places together. Kai. When you try out this particular assignment, you will find out that God is powerful. You will find out that grace, grace of God, cannot be compared with anything else. I have seen and heard of multiple testimonies that people that, who tried out the spiritual tips, the recipe I gave by going to the market and packing sand, putting in a bottle, in a calabash, uh -uh, in a native pot, a uh, clay pot, to recover their destiny from bondage. The testimony from that video is uncountable. So you can check it out also. How to release or recover your destiny from every spiritual bondage. Now, this particular sand from three market places, three different markets, you put all the three together. Then you get ashes. Okay? Get ashes, get your seven seeds of alligator pepper. I didn't say one bulb, bulb. I say when you open alligator pepper, just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seeds, which are going to go in for Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. The seven days of the week. When you have gotten that, you get yourself a bucket. Then fill the bucket with water. When you have filled that bucket with the water, you add the sand from the three market places inside the same bucket of water. Get some amount of ashes. Pour inside that water. Then get your mortar or pestle or whatever. That seven seeds of alligator pepper, you are not going to drop it inside that water like that. You are going to crush it. Crush it into powdery form, then pour it inside the mixture of the water, the 
ashes, the sand. Okay? Now, ashes means the end of an era. So, whatever it is that has been making things not to work for you is coming to an end. Dust of the earth, sand we all know. Man came from the dust. And every man is stepping on the dust. Mother earth is also a productive element. When you plant something in the earth, under the earth, you plant a seed, it is expected to die under the earth. When it has died, then it will regenerate again. When it regenerates under the earth, what does it do? It germinates. And when it germinates, it begins to grow. It grows to a certain period of time. It begins to bring out flower in readiness for getting for fruits. I begin to produce fruits. And they produce fruits at a time become matured. And then it gets ripened for harvest. So you are using the power of the sand, the dust of the earth, to regenerate for the regeneration of every good things, virtues, potentials, treasures that are attached to your destiny that has been killed by whatever forces or whoever. So this particular spiritual work is a deep one. You are dying and resurrecting. That source of income that has died, we resurrect. The glory that has died, we resurrect. The virtues and potentials that are supposed to make you who you are, we resurrect. The love that you're supposed to attract that have been killed, that made people hate you for no reason, will be resurrected. Then the alligator pepper, they call it spirit, is the king of all plants. It's an activator. It raises vibration and is powerful as God has blessed it. Each of these items, natural materials I've mentioned, are all gifted by God himself. To, do, to fulfill certain purposes on earth for God. So, you use the alligator pepper to charge the water. Then, after you've done that, what do you do? This particular mixture is going to be with you for three days. Then when you have finished mixing it, you read first over that bucket of mixture, Psalm 51. Then you read Psalm 29. Don't forget Psalm 51 is for cleansing, asking God for mercy and restoration of his spirit in you. Psalm 29, where the Bible say the voice of God seated upon many waters. Say the voice of God thundered it. The voice of God divided the uh, flames of fire, making the hinks to calf. Voice of God is going to speak through that water. And to bring back life. Water is life to everything that is dead in your life. Good things. Then you read Psalm 24, which stands for door opening. Then you read Psalm 35. Psalm 35, which is to destroy the enemies and their works in your life. So, don't forget it. Psalm 51, Psalm 29, Psalm 24, Psalm 35, over that bucket of water that contains these mixtures. And while you are reading the word of God, the Bible, the scriptures, the Psalms, over that water, you will hold your Bible with your left hand 
and you'll be using your right hand to steer that water inside in a clockwise motion. You are holding your Bible, you are reading, your right hand is steering the water in a clockwise motion. Where do I get that mystery from? If you go and read the book of John chapter 9, no, John chapter 5, the account of the pool of Bethesda, the Bible says at a season, the angel of God will come and steer the pool of water. That whosoever first enters inside will be healed of whatever infirmity they are carrying. So you are steering that water by the power in the word of God. The spirit of God is possessing that water for activity, for action, for deliverance, for cleansing, for healing. And for destruction of whatever that is not of God in you. This is a secret that several people may not want to let you know. God bless you. So, after reading the word and steering it, you make your prayers. You know what your challenges are. Have faith in our Lord Jesus Christ. Pray your prayers, God, as I bet with this water. Look at this and this and that is what I am destroying. I am removing so, so, so and so from my life. Let things begin to work for me to my favor. After that prayer, you keep that water in a secured place in your room. The next day, the second day, you repeat the same prayer and the same scriptures and the same action over that bucket of water. On the third day, you repeat the same prayer, the same prophetic demonstration, and the same scriptures. Then after which, you now bathe with that water. Commanding everything that is, that is dead in your life, dead in your life, to comfort to life. Commanding every contamination every invasion, invader, pollution to be washed off from you completely. Whatsoever that is not making, allowing things to work for my favor, I wash you out. Every negative energy. You might have contacted these negative energies from friends, from some sexual contacts, from evil foundation of origin, ancestral powers. You might have been contaminated by witches, Throwing arrows at you. I did a video recently, I think the last video, how to return evil arrows back to the sender using the same sand, the dust of the earth. You can use the sand to carry out countless millions of prophetic works, spiritual exercises, and you will get your result. But don't forget... When you do it, backing it up with the word of God and sealing it up with the supreme name that is above every name, the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, you are good to go. Results will come. Because Philippians chapter 2, verse 9 to 11 says, Wherefore has God highly exalted him, and he has given him a name that is above every other name, that at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is both the things in heaven, on earth, and beneath the earth, to the glory of God the Father. So, when you enforce any of your assignments with that name, Jesus Christ, whatever power that is responsible for your ordeal will bow and give chance. But before you can make use of that name and it works for you, you must have a connection with him. God bless us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, you take that water, prophesy, say your prayer, believe in your word, in your own prayers, have faith in God, it will manifest. But let me warn you, this is not magic. That you just take bed this morning, and uh, uh, it is night, and in the morning, you, you begin to, you expect to become uh, alikodangote overnight. You want to be rich like a Bill Gates overnight. It doesn't work that way. It's a gradual process. Things will begin to unfold. Blessings will begin to come in. God will show you light of his countenance will shine upon you. Okay? 
then your life will gradually be transformed into that particular life you have always desired and wish to have. I will be bringing this video to an end at this particular point. Don't forget to write your comment section your comments in your comment section down below. And don't forget to give me those thumbs up, those likes in this video. And if you have not already subscribed, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And also don't forget that we do have live streaming, live broadcasts. Mostly on Sunday, it is every Sunday we have it at times 8 o'clock Nigerian time, 8 p.m. or 9 p.m. Nigerian time. But I will always share notifications. Then during the week too, at times we do three times in a week or twice in a week. So I will always pass information across. Once you are subscribed to this channel, you will be getting notification when I am coming for live streaming. And people are really being visited. God is blessing people through those uh, life-changing programs. And don't forget also we sell spiritual products that could help you hasten your deliverance, break spells, and return evil back to sender, cleanse you and open doors for you, all in the name of Jesus Christ. They cause breaking soap, road opening soap, back to sender soap, anti-witchcraft soap, favor soap, attraction soap, the equal spiritual detox, the equal plus spiritual detox. If they pain you here, they pain you there. Oh, something is moving inside my body. I got a solution for you. Then we have anti-witchcraft cream. Then we also have bracelets. Attraction bracelets, good luck bracelets, protection bracelets, love bracelets. God bless you. How do you get these things shipped to you? Just chat me on WhatsApp or give me a call on WhatsApp. We ship to all parts of the world. Uh, and for adventure, there are things you may want me to do for you by myself. Consult me on WhatsApp. Let's discuss modalities on how I can come in to help you. But don't forget that nothing is free, even in free time. Double thumbs up to you guys one more time. Till we meet again in my next video, I love you. Mwah.